Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video, we're going to be checking out the Bass PM Modern Warfare 2. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like the video. Today's like goal is going to be 35 likes. So if you guys could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it and it helps out the channel a bunch. I don't know how to say that, so I'm not going to butcher it, but I'm using this blueprint. So you might want to make sure you have this or if you don't, it doesn't matter too much. But I kept most of the attachments that were on that except for a couple things i changed to make it like my personal build but on the optic i'm using the choreo rex pro optic adds precision sight picture and the cons are inbound sight speed personally i just like the blue dot and it just it looks good to me for the optic tuning i went with negative 2.42 ounces for inbound sight speed and the eye position all the way to close on the uh or on the stock i'm using the bruin flash v4 stock at sprint speed aim walking speed crouch movement speed and aim down sight speed the cons are aiming stability and recoil control for the stock tuning i want negative 3.10 ounces for aim down sight speed and negative 1.55 inches for aim walking speed over on the rear grip i'm using the bruin flash grip for spin of fire speed and aim down sight speed the cons are recoil control the rear grip tuning I went with is 0.65 ounces for recoil sadness to help out with the recoil because the Bass P has a lot of that. So, and for the width, I went with negative 0.30 inches for spread to fire speed. Over on the under barrel, I'm using the X10 Nexus grip for aim or it adds aiming auto stability and recoil stabilization. The cons are aimed on sight speed. The underbarrel tuning I went with is 0.62 ounces for recoil stabilization and negative 0.28 inches for aim walking speed. On the barrel, which this barrel is probably the best one for this gun, I'm going with the 10.5 inch Bruin Typhoon barrel at sound suppression, hip fire accuracy, bullet velocity, and damage range. The cons are aimed on sight speed and hip recoil control. The barrel tuning I went with is 0.27 pounds for recoil sightness and negative 0.27 inches for aim down sight speed. Okay, so I probably wouldn't change anything on this gun too much. Like, like I said, the 10.5 inch Bruin Typhoon barrel is definitely the better one to go with if you're looking to not lose any movement speed because this one loses a lot of movement speed, but it does have more damage range and bullet velocity. But in my opinion, this is definitely the better one to go with. So you don't lose any of that movement speed. If you guys end up trying this class setup out and you like it, please let me know down in the comments. Or if you have a better class setup than this, please let me know what that is down in the comments. I have a crazy gameplay for you guys. I don't know if I dropped an MGB, but if you enjoy the gameplay, please let me know with a like and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, we're gonna be using the Bass P. I was recording another game or another video with this gun on Hotel and it just, my game crashed. I don't know why. I, I don't even know what caused it to crash. Where are you jumping? Jumping around the corner. Out. I knew I'd seen another one. God, they're all spawning here. Please.
That guy probably. Wait. Oh my god. That guy probably didn't know what just hit him. You're wasting my time. That's the MGB, dang. Alright, 33 and 0. Or 33 and 1 now, but. I just got nit, two nades thrown at me. RPGs. Probably get another nuke. No. I love footsteps. Uh, I thought I just caught in the MGV. He just shot me three times. How many times did I shoot him? Teabagging me like I didn't just drop a nuke on him. Well, he doesn't know that yet, but
second guy that guy's killed me, bro. I gotta call it in. Seventy kills at GG's.